Hi guys, it's James from Dirty Finger Racing. Today we're going to be going over uh, how to use the hot wire from Tekken. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is you want to come to uh, teamtekencom slash hw.html. Uh, the only thing that we have to do here is we have to download the file. So just click on the download button on the page. You're going to want to click run or save so that you can save it to your computer. Um, I don't have to as I've already downloaded the program. It only takes a few minutes to install it. It's no big deal. Uh, when the time comes, we're going to come and we're just going to click on the hot wire icon. Uh, the first thing that we have to do is we have to connect the hot wire to the truck. So right here is the fan slash data port for the uh, speed controller. Uh, so you want to remove the fan plug. Um, I found that Using a small pair of needle nose pliers makes this a lot simpler of a job to install or uninstall anything from there. Um, we are going to use the adapter from Tekken because we're using the RX-8 Gen 2. Um, what you want to do is you want to install this using the black wire to the outside um, of the por por port. Um, then the white wire towards the nearest uh, motor post. And if you take it and you lean it slightly back towards you, it's a lot easier to make your connection, make a good solid connection with it. Then we are going to take the hot wire itself, and then as you can see right here, this little thing is keyed, it has this little fin of plastic and it plugs straight into the port for it and when you plug it in it's going to be color coded, black matches with black, red to red, white to white. And then go ahead and plug your USB cord which T can provide you with an excessively long USB cord. Um, there we go. However, I had this shorter one. Uh, I used it earlier today. It works perfectly fine. This is actually from my external hard drive. Uh, but we'll go ahead and use the supplied one from Tekken just so I can show you all a couple of things I found while using it. Um, the first thing that you're going to do after you get it plugged in, all right, you're already connected. So you want to plug it in. And as you can see right here, I press it, and the instructions say press it in until it's seated firmly. See a little green LED flashing, that's saying that it's good to go. However, when I let go of it, it stops flashing. So I thought I was having an issue and getting ready to call Teak until I tried to switch out the USB cable thing and that was the problem. However, seated firmly, you really have to press and you'll hear a clicking noise. Now it's seated and ready to go. Take this extra long USB cable and hold it up here. Alright. All right, now that this is all the way in, well, first, let me show you what happens whenever, you know, you're just kind of flashing green. You're going to get an error code whenever you try to open it. All right, so there, it's still doing this little flashing green thing. Double click on that. Come up, unable to find the hot wire. Check that the hot wire is connected and the USB cable is plugged into the computer and try restarting the software and then it'll automatically shut down. Now with it fully seated, this is what you get. Go ahead and double click it and it comes straight up. It's reading my settings. I did a little bit of tuning earlier basically just to take away um, my front or my reverse mode. Um, and this app is actually very very good as it's pretty much fully self-explanatory just highlight whatever you want or what you want to find out about and it'll tell you about it um, this is basically for your timing advance and how much timing advance you'll have go into here and you can see the setup um, and you can even save your setup and you can load a setup uh, I created a setup earlier today so we'll go ahead and click it open and it's not here. Where did it go? 
Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll cancel that part. Um, but basically, yeah, just make sure you know where you save your file to. Um, right here, these are up and down arrows, not Vs. You can click them and go through them, and it cycles through your options. Um, it'll tell you your voltage cutoff. I'm going to leave mine at 2S. Uh, then right here, you have uh, what type of motor you're running. And this is BL brushless forward only. Then you have BL forward, immediate reverse, and then this is forward delay reverse. Uh, for racing, you're going to want to have forward only. And then down here, you have to use the hot wire. You cannot use onboard tuning to switch your uh, BEC from 6.0 6 volts to 7.4 volts. Um, the, anybody running a Spectrum um, receiver, you're good up to 9.6 volts. However, you want to check to make sure that your servo can handle the same amount of volts as it's going to get its battery draw from the speed controller. So, I emailed uh, Savix, I'm waiting to hear back from him to see if I'm good to go. Um, my spec sheet only shows up to 6.0, so I'm really not sure about that. Um, right here, this is where you can tune your brake strength, um, and then your You've got your drag brake, your brake strength, your push control, your minimum brake, and then here, then the, your next tab is your throttle. Um, your neutral width starts off, I believe it's like 25, and I went ahead and lowered down the band, and that's just the band, that's just the area of your trigger that is basically like dead space for neutral. It's neither brake nor uh, gas, so. Then uh, this is your current limiter. Default is set at 80, so I'm going to leave it there and see how it does. If I need to, I can always come back and retune. Uh, the next thing, and this is a pretty big thing, uh, you have your timing. Um, you have two custom profiles that you can do anything you want with, and then you have five different settings. Uh, check the manual to find out uh, about the uh, linear graph for it. Um, and then over here, this is basically uh, where you enter the boost at you can s open it up and it will give you different options uh, I'm going to keep it at the and this is where your RPMs start at uh, then this is your throttle curve uh, I'm going to keep mine on the li linear you can get one that's you know moderately aggressive and then you can get one that's wildly aggressive that comes way up here then it also does mild to where it's kind of the same way but the exact opposite as far as how the line goes. Um, they have online help that, and everything else. O over here, you can also pull up data logs, which this will be for your last run. Um, I haven't tested it yet, so nothing's going to come up right now. Um, and then wherever you make changes to your setup and you're ready to save, you want to click Apply Settings. And then it'll say apply the selected settings to the speed control. All you have to do is press OK. And then your settings are saved. And then that's the end of tuning with uh, the hot wire.